بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. In this presentation, I'm going to provide an overview about the most important ground stations that support the Mavlink protocol. If you have a drone, certainly you would like to play with it and makes it execute missions in real time. For this, you will need to have a ground station, which is a special software that interacts with micro vehicle through the Mavlink protocol. In this presentation, I will provide an overview of the most important ground station software. First, what is a ground station? It is simply a software application that interacts and communicates in real time with a micro vehicle such as a drone by exchanging Mavlink messages. The communication can either take place over a serial port, generally through a telemetry device, or through a network interface inside a wireless local area network using the UDP or the TCP protocol. The advantage of telemetry devices is that they allow longer communication range than traditional wireless LAN technologies and can reach up to 5 kilometers in range. The link in this page refers to a page that presents the most common available ground stations, which are to be summarized in the following slides. The most commonly used ground station is the Q ground control. This ground station was natively developed in C++ and also has a wrapper package for Android. It fully supports the Mavlink protocol in addition to Ardupilot and PX4 powered vehicles. QGround control has several functionalities including defining and planning autonomous missions, full control of the vehicle, graphical visualization of the map and location tracking of the vehicle through its GPS coordinates. It also provides support for video streaming and changing the internal parameters of the autopilot in addition to the calibration of the sensors of the autopilot. QGround control runs on different platforms, namely Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android devices. Mission Planner is the second most popular ground station for Mavlink vehicles. It is created by Michael Oborn and runs on Windows platforms only. Similarly to QGround control, Mission Planner also allows to plan autonomous mission and making a full control of the Mavlink vehicle. It has the additional feature of downloading and analyzing the log files of a mission. This means, after completing any mission and operation with the drone, all internal parameters and state variables are stored into a log file inside the autopilot, which then can be downloaded and analyzed by the Mission Planner. This helps you to understand how the autopilot behaved and provides a means to analyze any exotic behavior and analyze the performance of the autopilot. We will show in next videos how to analyze log files. APM Planner 2 is also a ground station software that is very similar to Mission Planner, but it is available for both Mac OS and Linux environment in addition to Windows environments. It is considered as the best ground station to use for Mac and Ubuntu operating systems. ABM Planner 2 provides almost the same functionalities as Mission Planner, including analyzing log files. MathProxy is a Linux-based ground station that is primarily a command line interface and console-based interface with some graphical modules for map visualization and mission editing. MathProxy is written in Python. MathProxy uses a set of simple commands to interact with Ardupilot autopilots. The advantage of MathProxy is that it is portable and lightweight as compared to other ground stations and also quite easy to use. We will provide an overview of the most important commands of MathProxy in some next videos. The link presented in this page refers to a tutorial page for the MathProxy and its commands. For Android devices, Droid Planner, also known as Tower Software, is the best alternative for Android devices. Droid Planner relies on a Java ground station at a lower level that interfaces with the users through an Android graphical user interface. It presents an excellent interface to interact with an autopilot through either serial telemetry interfaces or also network interfaces using both UDP and TCP like the other ground stations. It also allows the user to configure the parameters of the autopilot and create mission on the fly. 
Nonetheless, it does not allow to analyze files like Mission Planner and APM Planner 2. So this was an overview of the most important ground stations with Mavlin. Thanks for watching.